Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be three different ways to sanitize used makeup. Used makeup is something that I think a lot of people have. You can get it on like all kinds of online apps and stuff. You can also find it from like people on Facebook yard sales, your friends, your family, whatever. But the fact is when you don't want to buy something new, you want it used. So today we're going to talk about three different ways to sanitize eyeshadow. And without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, I put a video every single freaking day, literally every day, so it's new to watch. If you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Also, if you want more used makeup, like how to sanitize, let me know, because today we're just focused on eyeshadow, which is the most common thing that I've ever bought used. So, this is a gift from a subscriber, the first deck of Scarlet palette, and I had to have it. It was my makeup I dreamed of owning video that I'll leave linked up there for you. And they, did, they gave it to me, it was really appreciated, so thank you so much. Um, but it came used. So today I'm going to show you with these three shadows how to sanitize in three different ways. I feel like two of the ways are pretty simple. The other one's like a little more work. But if you're like a neat, neat freak, um, super sanitize the OCD person, you might want to use it that way. Also, I want to say that I'm sanitizing it. But if you are the one who gave it to me, I don't think you're gross. It's, it's just the thing I have to do is sanitize when I use makeup no matter where it's from. So let's get started. Okay, so option number one is to take a tool, I'm using a nail file, and just scraping off the top layer of the eyeshadow. If this is not very used, there shouldn't be too much you need to scrape off, and there should be plenty of product afterwards, then just take your finger and just smooth out the eyeshadow to make it uniform and pretty again. Okay, option number two is to take some, a cap of alcohol, I use 99.9% .9 alcohol, or a spray bottle and just spritz it on top of the shadow. Now, just take your finger and tap it all over so you coat the entire shadow, and then just leave it open to dry. Option number three is you crush the entire shadow and repress it, like you would for a broken piece of makeup. So all you have to do is keep it in the container it came in, put some alcohol on it, let it soak in, smooth it out, and pat it with a paper towel to get out any excess product, and to press the shadow back down into its original form. You can use the tool if that'll help you get the right shape. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I let it dry overnight. I set it sitting up open for it to dry and let's get a close up of the three pans that we cleaned. So they're not perfect. Obviously it's not gonna be like brand new quality, but this is the one we repressed. This is the one we scraped and this is the other one we used alcohol on. They look really good. This one is of course less, um, it's more messy, but I just pressed with paper towel after crunching it up. It still performs beautifully, as they all do. So sanitizing it does not diminish the quality of the product. I still have sanitized these two. So personally, I think that the crunching it up and repressing it is a lot more work than it needs to be. I feel like these shadows in particular are way softer than I'm used to sanitizing. So when I scraped this one, I scraped a lot more than I think I had to. But normally, I prefer to scrape the first layer off of the eyeshadow, then take my clean finger and run across after you dip all the extra... Okay, let me rephrase that. You scrape the first layer off, right? And then you dump the product out, and then I would take my clean finger and rub across and kind of like pack down the shadow so it becomes more uniform and pretty again. Also, think if you are not willing to scrape off and waste any product the drops of alcohol is also a great option i just feel like the repressing it is a whole new issue but if you buy a shadow and it comes broken you can repress it if you buy a shadow and it's hitting pan already you can repress it and make it flatter so it doesn't have pan in it anymore it'll just be thinner um closer to the ground i think all three are really good option i think buying used makeup is something that a lot of people have to do and there's no shame in that game. So with any further ado, I'm going to end this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. I put a video every single freaking day. Literally every day. So always something to watch. And I will see you then. Bye, guys.